Hey guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to properly discharge your battery. DJI recommends you do a full battery discharge after 20 charges. So you can easily check on the DJI app uh, how many charges your batteries have done. If you click on the side there and then you click on this little tiny icon here and it'll take you to the battery screen so it gives you your volts, your battery life and the times charged. So these have been charged 19 times, that's close enough so I'm going to do a full discharge on them today. So how you can do a full discharge on your phantom batteries is you can take out your machine and you can fly it for one thing and then you can take it in and kill it. So I'm going to go fly it. I'll be right back. Okay guys, back from flying. So I started at 92%, now I'm down to 23. Not low enough yet, so you've got some options here. You can either run your motors without props, obviously. But uh, the downside is you're running your motors, so you're going to have motor wear without accomplishing anything. Or you can turn off your controller. And simply let your Phantom's LEDs run until the thing dies. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm not going to let my camera battery die while filming it. So I'll see you guys in about all of one second cut away. Okay. Phantom is now at a critically low battery. There we go. Not a balmy green, a nice red seven. So it's eight percent or below. Seven percent is critically low. It's discharged. Uh, now we can shut off the phantom, plug it in, and let it charge for a full charge till it's fully charged so don't touch it don't accidentally take it off and don't leave it unattended leave your house and go do something never a good idea when charging a battery so there you go so to do a deep, full deep discharge do it every 20 cycles to extend the life of your battery now you know